right, so it is no secret that we are right here in the hub of Northern Idaho, downtown Coeur d'Alene. In fact, what do we got right behind us here, Connor? We got the Coeur d'Alene Resort right behind us. So this anchored everything. I mean, this literally brought in all the jobs, the growth, everything. So we are going to do an entire video showing you what it's like to live in downtown Coeur d'Alene. And let me tell you one thing, things are changing around here. So stay tuned. What's up everybody, this is Jackson Wilkie. And I'm Connor Hammonds. That's right, and in this channel we do so many videos about what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, play right here in Northern Idaho. If you want all that information, make sure you tap that subscribe button and you click the little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And if you're moving anywhere in Northern Idaho or Eastern Washington, we get calls every day and we absolutely love it. So give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Days, nights, weekends, we got your back when you move to North Idaho. Right, here we are in Coeur d'Alene, really the heart of North Idaho. Coeur d'Alene is located on the very north shore of Lake Coeur d'Alene and a really beautiful downtown area, lots of historic homes, but things have been changing. And as you can see, we got condos going up. The Parkside Tower has been here for a while and brand new condos, one lakeside behind me here. So as things are changing, more new construction going vertical, uh, but same beautiful downtown area. All right, yeah, so um, the, the downtown area, and hey, you grew up right here, right? Yeah, this is my area. This is <laughs> the, my hood. The stomping grounds. So we're definitely going to get into those, you know, older neighborhoods, the traditional ones that we've known our whole lives. But we do want to talk about these condo living because they are um, a huge thing going on here and highly desirable. So, Connor, dude, have you been in some of these? What oh, are the yeah. price ranges? Yep. What do you see? Yeah, absolutely. So condos here, there's three, three major condos. Parkside Tower right behind me. I don't know if you can see it there. Uh, really big open floor plans, three beds, two baths. Most of them range from the 700, upper 700s to penthouses, you know, one million, one five. To my, over my right shoulder is one lakeside, the newest condo building that's going up, 15 floors on that one. You can actually get a one bedroom condo there for upper 500,000s with this crazy view all the way down the lake. So not only the view, this is Sherman Avenue. So this is the main drag of downtown Coeur d'Alene. This is where all the shops, bars, coffee shops are. Uh, so if you're looking for condo living, be able to walk to all the amenities, this is the spot for you. All right, so we're gonna cruise down Sherman and head to the north and south of that street to show you all the styles of living. But yes, the Coeur d'Alene Resort, I actually worked there for about seven years as a Bellman valet. So if you got, you know, those high school kids coming with you college kids some of the best jobs for those people are literally from the Coeur d'Alene Resort so the notorious floating green and golf course is right around the corner so you can you know caddy jobs yep. but all of these restaurants did you caddy? I caddy. That that's, was, what I'm talking about. that's my summer job nothing better. And now he's a member um, at that golf course so if you want to be a member of a golf course that's a good one too uh, you know you can reach out to us for more information on that but yeah so there's so many jobs and that's what we said you know that's why this place really anchors Coeur d'Alene it's because it's brought in everything. So most all of us, all of our friends at some point in our life have worked for the Hagedon Corporation uh, in some way, shape or form. So um, you actually have the boardwalk right behind us too. That's really famous. You can walk around um, and, and look at, you know, the, the lake and everything. So we're going to jump in, cruise down Sherman and, and see some of these neighborhoods plus where Connor was uh, raised. All right, we're just leaving basically Independence Point. Uh, the city park is right over here. So basketball courts. Uh, beach like the longest beach ever for swimming and then you have the city park which has some of the coolest like kids equipment but now we are literally going to go right down sherman show you the shops restaurants bars i've literally closed every one of these bars down like a hundred times so that's kind of the not, thing not to do me, not, me. <laughs> not you yeah no, honest angel uh <laughs> but yeah and it's cool because you'll literally uh, it's fun going to these especially like I remember turning 21 and like all my coaches were here and like and my 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 parents friends and stuff but um yeah, this, this is the spot right it's here still small town living for what's sure. that right there where you get that burger oh, boy that's, that's world famous Hudson's hamburgers Hudson's hamburgers like 100 year old joint Don't literally know, just pickles price. and onions um and it's some of the best burgers but we're headed down so we're coming up on third street right here this is what brings you down it's a one-way street and uh Fourth Street is the next one that will head that heads you back up to the north. Midtown. So this is downtown, yeah, to Midtown. We'll get you outside. All 
All right, so before we get to the houses, we wanted to talk about one thing. This is a logging town, mining town, and it's completely you know, starting to change and evolve. Over by the college was actually a mill. Um, but this is the cool thing that you see is a lot of technology and what we have right behind us. I'm gonna let Connor talk about it because it's really cool what's going on. Yeah, it's been really cool to see over the past couple of years. So this behind me used to be an old Elks building that was sitting dormant probably for, I don't know, 15, 20 years, pretty much dilapidated. We had some inve investors come into Coeur d'Alene and make a new building here, totally remodel it. It's called the Innovation Den. A lot of startups are in there. We got full offices for lease. There's a co-working space, a barber shop, a coffee shop. So it's a really cool uh, building with a lot of stuff going on and bringing innovation to Coeur d'Alene. And then the cool thing about the Innovation Den is there's so many different types of businesses in there. If you need marketing help, branding help, I mean, there's even a drone company based in there. Um, Xcraft, if you've ever seen uh, the Shark Tank, they have offices in there. Uh, so it's really cool what's going on in that building right now. Okay, so this is, um like I said, there's 4th Street. That literally can take you all the way into Hayden. That's one of the main arterials. Um, and so you'll see people take that a lot. If we were to head this way, obviously about 10 more blocks is 15th Street. That's the popular one to get you to Dalton Gardens. Um, and we are just literally one street to the north of Sherman. So um, we're going to actually go to Front Street because one of the coolest parks, it used to be the old Legion Fields, right? The baseball fields. Yeah, I spent a lot so, of time on those Legion Fields. Yeah, baseball player here. I was the. We were both basketball players too, but um, they changed it and it's one of the coolest parks. So we're going to cruise down there real quick. All right, so as you can see, we are on the other side of the Coeur d'Alene Resort. So we are in McEwen Park. I'm going to give it over to Connor and just let him uh, tell you exactly why people love living right here. Yeah, so as you can see behind me, you have the Coeur d'Alene Lake here with the boat slips, the cruise boats from the resort. Tubbs Hill is right behind me, which is super unique. It's a natural kind of mountain right on the water, two mile, two mile walking trail all the way around it. A lot of rocks to jump off into the lake, what I did, you know, growing up all, all day, all, every day all, during the summer. Yeah. So as you can see, McEwen Park, probably the biggest park for sure in North Idaho. You have splash pads, an amazing playground that my kids love to go to, a dog park, basketball courts. And then lining that on Front Street, you can see the condo buildings, but on the main floor, you have really cool bars, uh, salons, bakeries, a lot of retail stuff. So this is really the epicenter of downtown. Yeah, so the, what we were talking about, we're literally almost standing in what was old baseball field. So a lot of us were kind of torn up when they did that, but now that it's here, like they really did a good job. Um, so anchored right here again at the Coeur d'Alene Resort, but the park's one block to the south of Sherman Ave. And we're gonna cruise over to where Connor was. Let's talk about it real quick though. What is like just right around the corner here? Right around the corner is uh, one of my favorite neighborhoods. It's where I grew up. It's called Sanders Beach, and uh, we're going to go take a look. Yep, so Tubbs Hill here, again, two miles, can wrap you all around the mo uh, the mountain. Some of those rocks, uh, what was the name of that one? It was uh, D-Head, but that was just the name that we all <laughs> called it. Diamond Head. Diamond Head, yes. Um, <laughs> but it was like a 40-footer, dude. You guys like a full send rock. But there's rocks that are like five feet for, for kids, um, and it's super deep, so you don't have to worry about hitting the, the bottom or nothing, and it's really good. Um, fishing right there, smallmouth bass with worms. So, and you can walk your dogs. And you walk your dogs. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna cruise right around the corner and go check out Sanders. One last thing I have to mention. Again, we did mention those are docks over there. So that is an area where you can pay to have your boat stored. Um, so now, if you lived downtown, you can literally walk to your boat every day, walk to these shops, restaurants, walk to the parks. But uh, that is something that, you know, in North Idaho, we have these beautiful lakes. Finding that, that boat storage is really tough to do. So this is one of them. All right, that might look like a little hill there, but he's got a story for you. Yeah, that's my hill. <laughs> that's my childhood right there. The whole number four of the Coeur d'Alene Resort Golf Course is up that hill, and I live right here. My whole summers were spent up hiding behind the fence, finding golf balls <laughs> like Easter eggs. I'd sell them back to golfers. So you gotta, you have to have that North Idaho hustle, man. Yep. I love it. All right, man. Relive your story, your childhood. Where we at? Okay, we're actually right where I grew up, Young. I just passed Young Avenue, yep. uh, 17th and Young, so I'm a little more east. But this is a Sanders Beach neighborhood. Uh, my favorite, because you know, it's my my old stomping grounds where I grew up. So I'm a little biased. But what is it like, though? Like, I mean, I know it. I've been here a million times. Yeah. But... So it's like the extremely close to downtown right next to the lake so you're pretty much riding your bike to Tubbs Hill which is downtown you go to get coffee or get a drink or, or uh, Hudson's hamburgers yep. you're a couple blocks away walkability for Sanders is huge um, and you know you're by the lake so you 
I'd mow, mow the lawn, run down, take a dip in the Sanders Beach, run back. I mean, it's just kind of like the quintessential Americana, what you think of. Um, yeah. You it, think of small town living. Here's uh, the like, one thing, too, we're noticing. Literally everybody out walking, riding bikes. You're going to find this to be probably one of the most active. I mean, we're in the Northwest. Like, everybody's active, but people love exercising around here again we're looking at tubbs hill yep. you walk around the lake there's some very advanced trails so you can really push yourself bike riding the the iron man comes right down through here so you'll see people cheering obviously right. iron man comes right through downtown Coeur d'Alene, but this is actually a route and we're going to actually take you to some of the big big really cool homes here too yeah and one thing to note sanders beach we have uh, there's a marina, boat slips, on the back side of Tubbs Hill right here. It's the only marina in the Coeur d'Alene area on the water where you can own your slip. So all the other ones are pretty much leasable through the Hagadon Co Corporation. Yep. This one, you can actually own your boat slip. Yep. All right, so yes, we're on Lake Shore. These are like, you know, just giant, giant homes. Um, just over here is the Coeur d'Alene Resort Golf Course. Um, but there is actually a house for sale here. They don't come up very often, but it would, is it a cool couple mil yeah oh, i think it's five four five, five million. four five million but you saw i mean you can see that you have your own lawn space right on Coeur d'Alene lake it's the quietest most peaceful neighborhood ever um, and so these are all bigger bigger homes um, we're seeing a lot of families a lot of people walking around very centrally located too yeah so this is what sanders beach is all about old historic homes old growth trees you're right next to the beach on the back side of tubbs hill you're downtown pretty much a couple blocks from mm -hmm. all the shops and bars and it's just real quiet and big homes historic homes mansions on the water um, and there's some more affordable homes as well as you get a little farther north and east and right now it's 100 percent resale i mean there's nothing yeah. new coming in here there's a couple builders that'll find uh, uh smaller yep. lots or split off a lot and you can build a new construction or you know, there's a few smaller homes that are being torn down yep. and, and rebuilt. But overall, you're looking at resale historic homes in Sanders Beach. All right, so this is something new. We are on Sherman again still, but um, there's a new project right here because literally across the street, these are like 100-year-old ha uh, houses, like multi-generation style. So what's up with those uh, new new condo townhouses? Yeah, so those are brand new uh, townhouses lining Sherman. Uh, new type of living really in downtown. You don't usually see a lot of residential, but those ones are super popular. Really modern farmhouse yep. look. I mean, talk about walkability from those things. I and mean, you got the parades, you got all the big events happen down Sherman and are down. So ah, that's a good point. Yeah, so if you're into that, if you're into the kind of the hustle and bustle, you know, we're not a big city, but in terms of uh, what's happening it's always downtown i'm sure yeah so carter lane is literally that's one thing we've talked about one of the biggest things you have to do the lighting ceremony you know your, your walking distance to it but we understand that you know we're in a historic part you know i i a lot of friends and stuff who've grown up around here it's um so you know all these houses are typically old so if you like that brand new construction style like there is a little bit of infill in these neighborhoods where you yep. can find that style so right now seventh indiana Oh yeah, Garden District, baby. Garden Districts. Talk about the Garden District. Garden District's just north of downtown, uh, but really borders it, and it's known for its historic homes. Yep. I mean, these things are super well kept, big trees, big foliage, um, and there's there's a little remodeling going on and revitalization. One of Coeur d'Alene's oldest churches is in this area. There it is. Uh, one of its most popular uh, elementary schools uh, by far is uh, is in the Garden District. What's the name of that so, one? Sorensen Elementary. Dude, I remember playing basketball at that <laughs> gym like at like five years old. That's the school I actually went to. Is before it was a magnet school. So now it's a magnet school yep. for arts and humanities. And so people are loving that elementary school. Uh, there it is. Yep, right there. Yeah, that's that magnet school. Here's the church. I've had a, quite a few friends uh, get married in here. Um, and that, that's what you see. The cool thing about this too, way bigger lots. So yeah. people love their lot sizes around here. Um, and it literally, it's just going. We're headed straight north towards Midtown, this whole garden district. This is where you can find way more resale. I mean, there's a lot of houses in here. Yep, a lot of houses go up for resale here. Um, a lot of craftsman homes, yep. uh, rebuilt, and just really well-kept houses you'll see as we go through the streets. And not one house is the same, too. I mean, this is the cool thing. Yep. A lot of people are putting a lot of time and effort into 
like kind of gutting and redoing the interiors, but the exteriors really maintain that historic look. Yep. So you got a community garden there too, which is really cool. It's been there a long time, but what what's some other things about the garden? Yeah, one thing that really stands out for me about the garden district is that there's a real sense of community there. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a lot of kind of neighborhood events, you know, been to their Oktoberfest a couple times where it's really just neighbors shutting down the street yeah. and uh, having food, having drinks, having a good time. So really tight-knit community in, in there. I remember a couple of our homies living around here and there's like, um, and, and you still see this, uh, and with adults, you know, you can bring the kids, but they'll do kind of like a, a booze ride or a, a bike ride yep. stuff. You see those yep. everywhere around here, and it's it's really fun. You can just join in, but um, it is a sense of community. It's it's that old vibe we're seeing. Um, man, we've seen people. I've known people who've lived here forever and ever, but there's a lot of new families moving in here. There is retirees, so it's everybody in between here. Right, so right now I'm standing really in the middle of the Garden District. This is Geo Fippany Park. It used to be the old Coeur d'Alene High School site, uh, for and the old, and it turned into the middle school. But now it's a park right in the middle of everything. You got a playground, basketball courts, and uh, yeah, if this is the style of living you're looking for, you know, the Garden District, lots of homes, community, you know, block parties, old historic properties. But if it's not, we got you covered as well. You just really got to get a hold of us call text email whatever you got to do we know the area like the back of our hands and we'll show you where you need to be